Hello viewers, good afternoon. In today's lesson, we are going to look at another equation. But before then, uh, I would like to remind you that the only way we can keep posting this video is when you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Uh, we can see that the equation on the board says, find the value of P is equal to 1 over X and Q is equal to 1 over Y. If 1 over X minus 5 over Y is equal to 7, and the second equation says 2 over X plus 1 over Y is equal to 3. So now, uh, one of the most important thing in mathematics, any mathematical question, is that when a question is given to you, then you need to know the concept, understand the question first secondly know the concept or approach in which to follow so as to get to the final answer this is a simultaneous equation and the only way you can get to the final answer is by substitution method so now this is equation one and this is equation two so we can start from equation one equation solution So in equation one, equation one says one over x minus five all over y is equals to seven. Then what do we need to do is to pick the LCM of x and y. The LCM of x and y is x y. If you have the LCM of any unknown, is the same number. You pick them. If you have a and b as a variable in the denominator, then you pick them as your LCM. If you have B and C, you pick them. If you have like 10 of them, you pick 10 of them without any repetition. So the same thing we are going to do here. X and Y is the LCM. So we are going to pick X and Y. That means we are going to multiply all through all the three terms by X, Y. In multiplying all the three terms, we will have X, Y open bracket 1 all over x close bracket minus xy open bracket 5 all over y close bracket is equal to 7 xy that means i multiplied all through by xy this x will cancel this x i will be left with y y times 1 is y minus y will cancel y remain x x times 5 this is 5x is equals to 7xy you can make from this stage you can make any of the two unknowns the subject of the formula either x or y the subject of the formula for me i would like to make y the subject of the formula because of its simplicity in this case so i can say y minus 7xy is equals to 5x so i have y here i have another y here so that means i can factor y out to factor any variable or any unknown out means to take that number or that variable or that unknown outside the bracket
let me still divide the board minus 7x minus 15x is minus 22x so i have minus 22x is equals to minus 11 so i'm looking for x i will have to divide both sides by minus 22 so that i will have x is equals to minus 11 all over minus 22 x is now equals to 1 all over 2 because negative will go with negative this is the value of x so i'm looking for the value of y because i have two unknowns x and y as contained in the two equations so i was able to get my value of x now the main y where can i go is to go to the equation three going to equation three which says y is equals to five instead of x instead of x i will not put x then i will put the value of x five instead of x i'll not put x but i will put one over two all over one minus seven x i'll put one all over two so this is y is something as five all over two divide by one minus seven all over two so i'll go in by both mass going by both mass i'll have to clear bracket if i say both mass this is bracket orders orders division multiplication addition and subtraction so i'll have to go for the bracket i'll have to go for the bracket before any division or multiplication so going going for that this is equals to five all over two divided by everything here is over two everything here is over two one into two because this one is over one one into two 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 times one i have two minus two into two one one times seven is seven which is the same thing as five all over two divided by two minus seven is minus five i have minus five all over two this is the same thing as i can change this to multiplication so it will be five all over two times open bracket two all over five but remember this is negative because of this negative five will go with five two will go with two that means my y my y is now equals to minus one so therefore therefore x is equals to 1 all over 2 1 all over 2 y is equals to minus 1 but don't forget that we are asked to find the question said that we should find the value of p and q while p is given in terms of x and q is given in terms of y and now that we've gotten the value of x and of course the value of y how can we get the value of p is just to substitute my people please allow me to clean this site so our p our p is equals to one all over instead of writing x then i have my value of x to be 1 over 2 which is the same thing as 1 if i say i can say divide by 1 divide by 1 over 2 so that you people will uh, get it very clear which is the same thing as 1 divided by 1 times 2 divided by 1 which is the same thing as 1 times 2 which is the same thing as 2 therefore p is equals to 2 then q is equals to 1 all over instead of y i'll put the value of y to be minus 1 which is minus 1 which is equals to minus 1 so that is that therefore p is equals to 2 and q is equals to minus 1 and this is all i have for you for today my people uh 
thank you so much for watching my video have a lovely day